in the state right now. The San Diego State champ or San Diego section champ drops four seconds to win that section championship. We'll keep an eye on him. Another guy to keep an eye on. A familiar name if you follow high school distance running, that is Salmon. But this is Aaron Salmon, the younger brother of Colin Salmon, who's going to be running at the Prefontaine Classic this weekend. We mentioned how Newberry Park, the legendary program, their top four athletes are have uh, conceded the state championships to run open competition. But Salmon, who's one of the top runners in the state in the eight, the 16, and the 32, has opted to run the 800 here. He has a best of 148.91. That's number four in the United States. Um, but he only comes in at 152.08 off the southern section. So we'll see, you know, it's one thing to go out and time trial with your teammates. It's another thing to get in here and battle in these, you know, tactical races. So we'll keep an eye on Salman wearing hip number two and your guy, Quinn Harder, from San Marcos wearing hip number one. It does look like Salman that's out pretty, pretty aggressively here in the first hundred. And honestly, after you saw those other heats, if you go out and a guy who's run 148, if he just goes out and runs 150, he's getting to the final, regardless of how it shakes out, okay? And so let's see who, who he pulls along with him. So that's Salman of Newberry Park through in 27 mid. And right behind him, Marcel Francis Mitchell of Long Beach Wilson. Wilson has got a great four by four, we'll see. Uh, Francis Mitchell later on that 4x4. They've got a great team. They've got a really good uh, miler this year as well who runs a good 400 leg. And here is Francis Mitchell in second. So it's Solomon kind of putting it on this field. They're going to be at 454 wow. mid. So he's just saying, hey, let's go run 150 and make a final. Now he's beginning <laughs> to separate from Francis Mitchell. Wow, that is this is a tremendous third 200 so from Salmon. For a guy who's run 405 and 840 uh, eight, in the in mid 840s, and all he's doing is running the 800 here, this should be, he can go out and run as hard as he wants here in the prelim. He'll fully recover and be ready to go for the final. Aaron Salmon is putting it on this field. Let's keep an eye on second. That's your boy, Quinn Harder. Harder from San Marcos beginning to move. Remember, four second PR just to get here. Now he's got himself in second, and Francis Mitchell of Wilson trying to hang on in third. What a battle for second. Remember, top three in the next three, fastest. Salmon's coming back to them, though. Salmon coming back, but he's going to hang on and definitely make this final. Quinn Harder looking really good. And then I believe there in third was Snodgrass, also from San Marcos. So Harder and Snodgrass from San Marcos run 152 and will make the final. And we'll see if Francis Mitchell of Long Beach Wilson hangs on for a time qualifier at 153.32. Salmon really kind of taking the bulls by the horn, going gun to tape there, really controlling his own destiny. Again, he's not trying to double or do anything crazy. So he's just going to go out and run hard over the next two days. But it'll be interesting to see if that final gets tactical you know, you got Salmon. I really like Del Vecchio. He just looked controlled. And Jay Dawson, his race was had a lot of back and forth, and he still was able to kind of power away. So um, he's one that um, should be kind of a factor tomorrow as well. Absolutely. Time qualifier. What was the last time qualifier in that race? Oh, boy. It looks like it is going to be Marcel Francis Mitchell of Long, uh, Long Beach Wilson coming in as our last man in. 153.52. He did a good job. He really went with Solomon and then hung on and made the final. The next event on the track is going to be the boys, or I'm sorry, the girls. 300 hurdles. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back in just about 60 seconds.